Hey there guys, and welcome back to Infamous. In the last part, we went underground again to do the substation stuff again, and we got the shield power. And I think that's the final, like, substation power you get. Oh, no, wait, I think there might be one more. Yeah, I think there's one more. But that's still a while away. So for now, we'll just have to make do with our shield. Which I must say is quite handy in combat. Uh, yeah, they're all in the water, so just shoot anywhere near them and they'll get electrified. Hooray for physics! Although now I just need to make sure that I don't get electrified. Though draining this thing might also help me survive. Alright, that over there has to be the fuse box. The thingy we need to charge up, so... Whoa! That was close. Because coal does not like water. Which still kind of makes me wonder, how does he clean himself? Like, he can't take a bath, he can't take a shower. He must smell like ass. Oh well, at least the thing he's charged up and the entire Warren has power again. So we'll be getting closer to the end of this part of the game. So it won't be long until we move on to the final part of the city. There we go, mission complete. Okay, where do we go now? Calm. My name is John White. We need to talk. John, where are you? Meet me on the roof of the Adams building and come along. Hey, Moya, you sitting down? John just called me. What? All I heard was static. What did he say? Wants me to meet him. Heading over there right now. That's fantastic news, Cole. Shit, yeah, I'll say. I'm finally starting to see some light at the end of this damn tunnel. Convince him to come in, but don't push too hard. He's been undercover for a long time, so he might be a little paranoid. If he feels threatened, he'll run. Crap, that blast shard was a bit too risky. Ah, nuts. Hey, Moya, you sitting down? Oh, well. John. We've pretty much had this conversation already, so there's no need to listen to it again. So we'll just crawl up here on the roof, get to the next mission marker, and get the story going. John, you here? John, John White, we are here to extract you. Please maintain your current position. You brought a chopper? I told you to come along. They're not with me. I don't know who they are. Damn it. John, there's no need to run. We're here to help you. Why the hell did you send a chopper? John took off. I didn't send anything. If it's the First Sons, you need to get to John before they do. Follow that chopper, and don't let it out of your sight. Well, would have figured a mission like this one was coming, where you have to chase a chopper over the rooftops. One other thing. It looks like John is scrambling his signal because all I get is static. I'm trusting you on this one, Cole. Keep me informed. Not like I got much of a choice. John's being awfully secretive about what he's doing if he's not even allowing Moya to listen in. And she's supposed to be his wife. Maybe he's cheating on her and that's why he doesn't want her to listen in. But yeah, the chopper... The path it follows is littered with wires, so you should be able to keep up rather well. Let's see, blow this thing sky high or... More like snap it in half with electricity. How does electricity snap? What is that anyway? Like a telephone polish thing in half? Oh well, it's infamous. Anything's possible. Okay, let's just... Crap, it's gaining a lead on me. That's not good. Although this wire should help me get back in the chase. And then here's one. See, such convenient placement. It's like... They made this entire huge-ass city with everything planned out. Like, exactly. It's amounts of detail in a game like that that make me like it. Yeah, how I wish I was playing Infamous 2 right now. But no, something went wrong at the game store I pre-ordered it at, and my pre-order got lost. Then you might be wondering, oh, General, what's stopping you from buying another copy? I mean, they're out, so why not buy one? Well, I pre-ordered the Hero Edition. Which is like this 130 buck deal which includes all kinds of crap and 
crap load of bonus DLC, which was kind of what I wanted. But they apparently installed some new system in their, like, way of selling games. Like, you can't pre-order the collection, like, the collector's editions over the internet anymore. You have to go to the store, make a deposit, and then you can pre-order them. But they, like, started that rule after I had made my pre-order on the internet already. And apparently then, like, all pre-orders that were placed on the internet were cancelled. So my pre-order is gone and there's no way to get another one. Because the Hero Edition isn't, like, for sale in the store. You have to pre-order it and then they, like, order the amounts of copies that were pre-ordered. So, yeah, I'm screwed. So they said, yeah, okay, if someone doesn't come and pick up their pre-order, like, in another store somewhere in the country... We'll make sure you'll get that one. I'm like, yeah, well, fine. It's not like I have much of a choice. But that can take up to two weeks. So, because, like, they drop all pre-orders, like, after they haven't been picked up for, like, a week. Or two weeks. So, I can be playing Infamous 2 over two weeks. Like, at the, at the soonest. Luckily, I still have newly bought Red Faction Armageddon to keep me busy, and lots of other games as well. Stand down, John! This operation's been terminated! No one's taking me in! Damn it, John! Cease fire! We're here to get you out! And now you're not getting anyone out at all because you're dead. See, that's funny. Oh crap, it's another one of those things. Freaking dustmen, why must they always... Yeah, it would probably be best if you just took cover there, John. Because this looks like it might get a bit messy. Why can't anything be simple? Oh, crap. That damn thing is gonna throw the chopper's gas tank at me. And even if it doesn't score a direct hit, the explosion's still gonna mess me up. I could shoot the tank now, use it to blow off the golem's arm. That'd make my life easier. But the explosion will incinerate all of those injured people. Sucks to be them, I guess. Bada bing, bada boom. Evil action, yeah. Cause evil people have all the fun. Alright. It's down one arm. Should make it easier to take it out. And John's is shouting, Yeah, just take that thing out. Well, how about you help me out on that one? Okay, it's not really putting up much of a fight, but then again, it's down one arm. What can it do? Oh yeah, I can shoot those things, and I don't have enough juice to use the shockwave, so I'm kind of screwed. Crap. Frickin' bolt machine gun. Just barrel roll into the frickin' alleyway. Should've probably recharged, but that's what the shield is for. It can be used for those purposes. And it... Okay, guess he got a lucky hit through. Oh well, we'll just do it again. Blast the crap out of him with a nice little round of megawatt hammers, drain some cars, and carry on shooting him. Crap. Crap, I need to buy that upgrade to make the shield bigger as soon as I freaking can. That makes it so much easier for you. Because now the shield like sometimes has a few blind spots. Hit it with everything you've got. Like depending on how you aim it. But you should be able to cover yourself completely sometimes. John. John. Hey man, it's clear. Great. I save his life and he bails. Great and just when I thought we were getting somewhere. That's just brings us right back down to freaking zero. Alright then. Let's just get moving. No other choice. We have two minutes, 45 seconds before they can triangulate my position. And I plan on being gone before then. So keep your mouth shut and listen. I know you're not with the agency. Too undisciplined, too cocky. Whoa, what the hell is this? Okay, guess we found a glitch that forces you to die. Well, ain't that just freaking perfect. Well, maybe this puts us in a more suitable position to go on from. We have 2 minutes 45 seconds before they can triangulate my position. And I plan on being gone before then. So keep your mouth shut and listen. I know you're not with the agency. Too undisciplined, too cocky. But I also know that you want the same thing I do. The ray sphere. You're gonna help me get it. So you know where it's at. 
One of my UAVs spotted it on top of Alden's tower. Find someone to help you retrieve it. Someone you can trust. One minute, 52 seconds. What do you want me to tell Moya? Who the hell's Moya? Uh, your wife? You are getting played. I have never been married and don't know anyone named Moya. One minute, 19 seconds. You're screwing with me, right? She's an FBI agent, just like you. <laughs> FBI agent? Yeah, that'd be the day. I hate those bastards. You won't see me, but I'll know when you have the ray sphere. Once it's in your possession, we'll figure out how to destroy that damn thing. 